Good morning, Grace Chapel family. Um, this morning, I just wanted to remind us as we're preparing for Pentecost of the centurion who came to Jesus with his request for his servant to be healed. He said, my servant is lying at home, sick and paralyzed and in, in suffering terribly. And, and Jesus says, I'll come to him right away and heal him. And the centurion says, no, if you just say a word, I'm not worthy to have you come under my roof, but if you just say a word, I, he will be healed. Um, I understand authority and I can see that you have authority um, over the sickness. And so, so Jesus complies and Jesus marvels at his faith and says, nowhere have I found such faith. And just as a reminder, as we come to Jesus with our various needs and seeking healing, that uh, one, we come humbly. We don't come with pride in our hearts. We don't come with a sense of, I can control you and I can direct what you do, um, whether whether by our own command or using the word of God in that. But the other the other thing that we come with is faith, a trust. Jesus was, wasn't so concerned with the methodology and didn't insist, how could you tell me that I, I don't come to your house and do what I, you know, and heal him, but that I heal him from afar. Um, he, he wasn't concerned with that, but what he did notice was the faith of the centurion that understood the authority that Jesus had. And so just to encourage us as we're preparing for Pentecost that we use the time to plant seeds in our heart from the Word of God. Um, that that encourage us that build up that faith of of the things that Jesus does the things that the Holy Spirit does the miracles that he's able to do um, the way that he's able to bring life into situations that are hopeless or dead um, even as Jesus raised the the young girl who had already died raised her to life just by the touch of his hand he's able to bring life to any of our situations and um, and to and encourage us so so let's use the time to plant seeds in the garden of our hearts that would encourage and grow up faith in what Jesus can do even in situations that we haven't seen activity in and we haven't seen any growth in or anything from him for many many years maybe it's a lost child uh, maybe it's um, finances maybe it's the health of yourself or a loved one uh, but as we as we seek him out let's plant those seeds of faith let's water them and grow them so that we can reap a harvest of, of, of the miracle that comes from the Holy Spirit's activity in our life anyways let me pray for us father I thank you so much for your word that you've given us the promises that you give us that are true that are sure and you haven't changed Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever and and the miracles that you did yesterday you desire to do for us today and so we we determine and we purpose in our hearts that we will encourage that faith and that trust in you that we would see the good things that you could do and so we praise you we give you this day in your name we pray amen have a great day